Hi everybody, thank you for watching. I hope you are doing well. Today I'm gonna show you this dramatic and full matte makeup look. Here I used some purples and all matte eyeshadows, making this look so wearable for everybody. I'm using purple but at the same time is a little bit neutral. So I hope you like it and let's begin. To fix everything in the place, I'm gonna start applying the primer. I'm using my favorite, the Primer Potion by Urban Decay. And I'm spreading really well all over my lid with my clean finger also in my lower lash line and in my tear duct area basically everywhere the eyeshadows go So even if I'm using primer today, I want to use some eyeshadow base because this will make the colors more vibrant. So with a small brush, I'm using the Jumbo Pencil by NYX in the color Milk. So the primer will make the shadows last longer and the shadow base will make the colors much more vibrant. So I'm gonna apply it in my tear duct area and in my eyelid. And then to help to blend and to remove the excess of product, I'm just blend a little bit with my clean finger again. And I'm gonna start with the shadows. I'm using this beautiful palette by Too Faced. This is the Sugar Pop palette. I love so much the colors of this palette. I'm gonna apply with a fluffy brush the color Blackberry in my crease and outer corner and this will be like my transition shade. These shadows are so pigmented so go add in a little at a time and blend it. The brushes that I'm using today are from Sigma Beauty. For any purchase that you do in the Sigma Beauty website, you can use the code Melissa SB for 10% off. And now with this another pretty palette, the Natural Matte also by Too Faced, I'm using this creamy eyeshadow called Day and I'm gonna apply it in my tear duct area and in my eyelid and also the rest left in my brush I'm gonna apply below of my eyebrows.
And now with the Lorac Pro palette, which is also amazing, I'm gonna use the color Plum in my outer corner and in my crease, but without cover completely the first eyeshadow. This is a little bit darker, so we'll make a good gradient. I love this palette by Lorac. They have super beautiful colors and the pigmentation is awesome. As you can see, I care a lot about the quality of the products that I'm using because I want always the best results for me and also for you. So with this blending brush and go blending to remove any harsh line. Matte shadows are a little bit harder to blend than the shimmer shadows, so take your time. And now to create more depth in the makeup, I'm gonna use the black eyeshadow from the same palette. This is my new favorite black eyeshadow. Basically, I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna apply it on top of the plum that is on top of the blackberry. And this look is all about blend. So don't worry, take your time and go blending. Or you can stop here, you don't need to apply the black eyeshadow. And also be really careful with the fallouts, because all these eyeshadows are so pigmented. And after this, I'm gonna apply just the same colors in my lower lash line, just to complete the eyes. Now I'm gonna line my eyes with my favorite gel eyeliner by Sigma in the color Wicked and my favorite eyeliner brush also by Sigma. After this you can go ahead and apply your favorite mascara and fake lashes. The mascara that I use it today are the Rockets Volume by Maybelline and the fake lashes that I use it are from Velour. I use it again the style T.O. and these contact lenses that I'm using are from Dazio Eyes in the color Forest Green. And this is the final result for the eye. I hope you like it as I did. And for blush, I'm applying the color Pinch Me by Motivis Cosmetics. I love this blush so much because it's so pigmented, so you don't need to apply too much. And the lipstick that I chose for this look is the Creamy Cup by MAC. This is not match, but I like it of the result. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram for more pictures of my works. And I see you in the next time.